Hey everyone, it's Matt Sperling. I'm going to give you a quick visual demonstration of the looting problem and what I think is the solution to it. Uh, I'm going to use a deck of playing cards here and we're going to represent the second best card in our deck, the Lightning Blast, with the King of Spades. The best card in our deck is the Control Magic. It'll be naturally the Ace of Spades and that's somewhere in our library. We don't know where. Our deck has about 25 other cards, six of which are evasion creatures, a couple Siths, some, some shocks. The relevant variables here are that there are 25 total cards, which is quite a bit, and there are some cards that have evasion that can actually win us the game. All that adds up to the fact that we're not going to end up actually getting decked this game very often, even though we're tearing through our deck with a Murfolk Looter potentially, we're potentially casting a Sift or two. The fact that the cards in our deck actually can, can end the game pretty easily, flying creatures and creatures that can't be blocked, that means that we're not going to get decked very often. That's going to be important as we, get, as we go through this, so keep that in mind. I think the people that are putting a lot of emphasis on the fact that you might get decked are kind of grasping at straws, just based on the game state and the fact that we have enough cards in our deck that are, can deal 12 damage with regularity, and so you might get decked, it's just not going to happen very often. So we've got this King of Spades in our hand, and it's a lightning blast, it's the second best card. If we had the best card in our hand, there's no reason to loot. I mean, you might still loot because you might have forgotten about a card that's better. So looting's not that bad, but, but that's a kind of a different question. Here, we know control magic is in our deck somewhere, and we have to start thinking about the different possibilities of where it could be. The value of looting is going to end up being the value of looting in each instance, when it's the top card, second card, third card, bottom card, summed together, compared to the value of not looting when it's the first card, second card, again, summed together. So let's start when it's the top card. This is kind of the worst case scenario for looting. Well, I shouldn't say that. This is not the perfect case scenario for looting. The perfect case scenario would be, would be the second card. You, you loot away the first card, you draw the control magic, everything's great. But in this case, we're going to have to discard our lightning blast. It still puts us in a decent position, but more importantly, we have to start thinking about what are the trade-offs. And so that's where we get to the other positions in the deck. Anytime it's not the top card, so let's just let's say it's here. It's the seventh card in the deck. Looting and this card away gets us one card closer. Now in each of those instances, no matter where it is, there is a probability that the game ends and you're either, this is the last card you drew, or maybe this card was Sith and you got there, but in any case, this is the last card you drew and this was the position of the card. In that case, if you didn't loot, that's basically the disaster, the biggest nightmare that can happen in this scenario is that you didn't get to control magic, a card that in many game states turns a loss into a win. It's that powerful. So that's really the key, the key insight here. And I would say that thinking about step by step, thinking about how many different positions there are other than top card, where looting actually gets you a card closer to the control magic. There's position two, position three, position 18. Now you're not always going to get to the 18th position in the deck, and that's an important thing to think about. In those cases, did it really matter if you looted or not? You, you didn't loot, and, you, and, and we, we're concluding that you didn't loot, and you never reached that 18th card. Did it matter that you didn't loot? No, actually, it just kind of comes out in the wash. It doesn't really matter. And so, if it's the bottom card, again, you know, whether you loot or not, it's not going to matter. So what really matters is all the different positions that you could reach in your game, a game that's going to last on average of, I don't know, five to ten turns, if, it, if, it, if you could have reached it but you didn't and you didn't loot, that's really way more disastrous than having drawn it, discarded a lightning blast, and you know still been equipped to possibly win that game. So that's kind of a visual representation of thinking about where all the different positions and thinking not only about the nightmare scenario of drawing it and then finding yourself stuck, but also thinking about the fact that that's really counterbalanced by all the positions where you need to get one card deeper to possibly reach the best card in your deck.